Well, since the beginning of the year, once a week, we are doing a couple of segments with my daughter, Rachel Cruz. She's joining me as we talk about parenting with your money. Uh, she and I have written a book together that comes out in April called Smart Money, Smart Kids. And so together we've been talking to parents and to aunts and to uncles about how to raise money smart kids uh, to teach the next generation how to win. Rachel's joining me again, and uh, we get to talk about a fun one today. And this is in the book. We address this in the book. And actually, I, I don't remember if it was Rachel's idea or my idea to put it in the book, but it's a good idea, whosever idea it was. I'll take credit. Talking about <laughs> weddings. Well, welcome back. Yeah, you could take credit because your wedding, you know, you and your sister, I think we did pretty good with weddings at the Ramsey household. Uh, number one, we don't do Bradzilla. We don't put up with human beings acting that way. Uh, any of us Ramseys, uh, your mom, you, me, none of us, we just don't think that way, that crazy spoiled Brett syndrome thing. But then, two, we, we had a system, and we went at it, and, and, and it turned into just a wonderful celebration. But we, we'll come back to that, I guess. So weddings. How do you deal with it? Because this book is about smart money, smart kids, about teaching your kids about money, 3 to 33. So moms and dads, listen up. How do you do this? Because I can tell you this. Rachel and Denise had a, a, a some play clothes, and it was like a Halloween outfit or something. But I can see it just as clear, and I can even see what was torn on it. They had this little four-foot-tall wedding dress three foot tall, two, two and a half foot tall wedding dress that had been like a Halloween costume bride wedding dress or something. And they played bride every day growing up. I don't know if every little girl does that, but those two girls played bride every day. So mom and dad, you better get ready when you start thinking about the money for this kid that's been playing bride every day. Because when they get ready to be a bride, it could turn into bridezilla if you don't have a plan, right? Yeah, absolutely. But I mean... As a girl, that's one of the events in life that you dream about. I mean, you dream about your wedding day. And so how to do that in a healthy manner, knowing that obviously your wedding day is one day. And so I think that's one thing you and mom helped us with was saying, you know, marriage is for a lifetime. This is for one day. So you can't get too caught up in it. But how do you take this day and celebrate? And how do you do it in a reasonable manner, especially when it comes to, to money? Absolutely. Now, you and Rachel, I mean, you, you and Winston, your husband, when you guys came in and uh, you know, we approved Winston, we gave him our blessing and the big engagement happened. And, and then we sat down and started talking wedding plans. Oh, Winston had a little different experience, didn't he? He had a different experience <laughs> from what, what, what does that mean? Well, what do I you mean, mean? He, he was him, pre you two working together to prepare the budget. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, I, don't, well, I thing, don't know if he really saw all of that coming. Well, one thing that mom and dad did with us, which I was so thankful for was obviously we were not given a blank check and saying, you know, go, sweetie, go do whatever you want, spend any amount of money you want. That was not obviously the case in yeah, the Ramsey this household. This is a wedding, not Congress. Yeah, you know? exactly. So um, so you guys gave us a budget and thankfully gave us a gift of money and said, okay, this is the amount of money you have to spend on the wedding. And you actually went a little bit further when you said, and a lot of parents have done this is what I've heard, um, that anything extra you have, you get to keep. And so my husband, being the saver, you know, said, okay, well, let's keep X amount. We'll save that amount. We'll spend the rest on the wedding. And I wasn't too fond of that idea because <laughs> I enjoy spending money, and it was my wedding. And so um, we had a, a nice goal to save some of the money, but eventually we spent it all and a little bit more. So we can go into that mistake that I made <laughs> with the budget. So Winston and I had to sit down together and budget out our wedding and obviously, I took the reins on a little bit more because I was the girl and worked with the wedding planner and, you know, got into the details of it because no man, it's probably torture for most men. So, uh, but yeah, that was like one of our first big learning experiences working together with a set amount of money on a budget. Yeah. And, you know, it was a little bit of a gut check for me for about a half a second, not much longer, but about a half a second when I'm writing a check that size because it was a nice wedding and I'm handing this check to you two and you and Winston aren't married. And I'm putting his name on the account and your name on the account. And it's like, do I trust this guy this much? And then I went, wait a minute. I'm giving him my daughter. Yeah, I better I trust him that much. <laughs> you know, but the money made me stop and go, wow, this is real. I got to trust this guy. Yeah, well, I really got to <laughs> trust him because he's taking Rachel. So, but I mean, it was an interesting thing as a dad to just go, wait a second. That was a, a, a little drive-by emotional experience right there. And then I went, yeah, I do. Because Winston obviously is awesome. And um, 
and you know the, both of our daughters married very well they did really well so um and, and we did we set an amount and you had you guys meet with the wedding planner explain to them the budget and that, that we're sticking to it and this is all we've got and uh then what happened you well, went over how did you go over? i went over i did um i honestly don't know how it happened obviously i'm not a very detailed person and so the last thing to buy, I remember, was the chairs at the reception. We had to rent those from a company. And when I went back to the account to get money out for these chairs, there was like $25 left in the account. And I freaked out, of course, went into full-blown drama mode and and did actually, I thought, very well because I went back and I cut a lot of things, like transportation from the church to the reception. You know, I cut that. I cut a lot of the flowers. I did lots of cutting to try to get this amount and of money. And Winston helped. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He kind of was like, Rachel, I was like, I know, I know, I just spent money and I didn't stop. And so um, that was a it was a tough call because, yeah, this was one of the mistakes I made. You would think that Dave Ramsey's kids are perfect budgeting robots, but we're not. We are human beings. <laughs> and and so sadly, you know, I didn't I cut as much as I could. And I just was, you know, I was still short a little bit of amount. I've gained a lot of ground, but I had to make the humbling phone call to mom and dad to say, hey, I need a little bit more money to finish out the reception. And so I think that was one of the good um, stories. There's a lot of stories in the book we talk about, but also through childhood that mom and dad made us learn hard lessons. But there's also grace involved as well with parents. And so I think that's one balance you and mom had down really well. And this was one of those moments of grace. And, and you did help me out with a very stern lecture over the phone. <laughs> but... Yeah, you came through at the end. Well, you had cut your budget. You had done a lot of moves to fix it, number one. Uh, and, and, you know, you really were not out of control. It was like 3% yes. or something. It really wasn't much money, but it was enough for two broke college students that you all couldn't cover it. And so, um, you know, I, I, I'm i going, hey, I'm like the guy on, uh, what was the movie, uh, Father of the Bride? I'm going, cheaper chicken. Get the cheaper chicken, right? And uh so, but no, but I, I knew I was going to have to eat the cheaper chicken too. So that was part of it because I'm going to this party myself and we fully intend to have a party, uh, after a wedding, our receptions are, are fun. And, uh, it's, it's a cool thing. So that's the first thing is put a realistic number in place. And then really what you've got to do is you have to back into then the actual game plan. And, you know, we, we did some budgeting, wedding budget ratios on a national level a little bit of research that we stuck into the book and the average house average wedding in the u.s right now is around about twenty eight thousand dollars average household income is about fifty two thousand dollars so um the you know that just kind of tells you that the average wedding is about half of an an annual income that's a lot and so if you want to be above average then you would spend less than half your annual income that's from the dad's perspective (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> from the daughter's perspective that would be below average so you know you got to look at that but that's the averages and it doesn't mean you have to spend that much but you know if you're talking about spending uh 30,000 bucks on a wedding and you know and you make 40,000 that's just ridiculous it's just you're completely out of control and you know well our family well I don't give a rip about your family your family's not ex- excluded from math and so that's the thing and there is, and I'll say encouragement on that side that if you don't have a lot of money to budget, there's, you know, wonderful things like Pinterest. I mean, there's so many weddings I've gone to in the past couple of years that people have a very small amount of money to work with, but it ends up being an incredible day because you're just creative. And so I think that's one thing that our generation does so well at is, is you kind of think outside the box and you're able to still have a great wedding. Oh, absolutely. That's just the averages. And then the, typically the reception is 55%, the ceremony is 12%, photography is 10%. Use a wedding planner, they're 10%. Dress and a tux is around 8%, and the rest of the miscellaneous is around 5%. And that, that budget, by the way, is in the book, Smart Money, Smart Kids. The book hits the streets on April the 22nd. It is on sale now as a pre sale, and we're throwing in $50 worth of goodies the ebook, the audio book, and the uh, DVD, or the, the, the audio as well. Just go to daveramsey.com to make your purchase.